Uh, but as we speak, NDC is addressing a public forum called Arise Ghana. Um, Dr. Kassiel Atuforsen, uh, who leads the minority in parliament, is the one speaking right now. Let's go across and hear what he has to say. From the hyperinflation they inflicted on us alone, and how that wiped away the liquidity of the poor Ghanaian and the ability to even afford three square meals a day. It's indeed very sad, and these people must not get away with this. And that is why we entreat you that on the 5th of September, come join us. Let's support the minority in parliament to protest against this gross and reckless mismanagement of our central bank. On that note, I want to acknowledge the media houses again who are taking this coverage live, Weasel TV, TV3, TVSYZ, Pan-African TV, GH1, Metro TV, UTV, Power FM, Accra FM, and all the other social media channels that are taking this broadcast live. We want to thank you once again for your constant support for our programs. On that note, We are about to listen to a wrap-up. The economists have spoken. The lawyers have spoken. Now we are going to hear from the voice, the voices of the people. Ladies and gentlemen, comrade Chrissy Pratt, Jr. Well, dear friends, after the very elaborate presentation by the minority leader, there isn't a lot that anybody can say. So I'm going to say just a few things. And the first thing I like to say is that I have no capacity for stopping coup d'etats. <laughs> And I don't do things for which I have no capacity. I'm not going to stage a coup d'etat, but I cannot stop one. And that's the point I want to make very clearly. Those who want to spend their energy stopping coup d'etats, at a time of grave national crisis, like the one we live in, have a huge responsibility and I don't pity them, and I don't want to be with them. Friends, so much has been said about the conditions in which all of us as Ghanaians find ourselves today, and the conditions are dire. If we fail to do something now, today, this time, all of us are going down. So we need to see this as a crisis, as an emergency. And it is not just about the Bank of Ghana. What is happening at the Bank of Ghana is a symptom of the real problem. So as we focus attention on the Bank of Ghana, it's important that we focus attention on everything that is happening in Ghana. The statistics have been thrown at us. We know that today we need 128% of total national revenue to repay debt, to pay interest on debt, and to pay public sector workers. What else paints the picture of the situation in which we find ourselves today? We are dead broke. When we repay debt, when we service debt and pay public sector workers, we cannot buy a bottle of water. That is the state of the Ghanaian economy. But you know, friends, all of us have been here, all of us have heard the different arguments and so on. The Electoral Commission messes up. If you complain, they come and say, we are independent. 
Bank of Ghana messes up. When you complain, their refrain is that we are independent. All of these constitutional bodies, when they mess up, the excuse is that they are independent. Independent. Apologize for losing the signal there. The NDC minority in parliament addressing an Arise Ghana gathering tomorrow. This is the pulse. I want you to stay exactly where you are. We'll be back after these. You're welcome back. Now we can take you back to that NDC public address, Arise Ghana, and we can resume uh, with Kwesi Pratt, who was wrapping things up for the assembled group. In the toughest of our men and women to wage this struggle. And the toughest of our men and women are who? The kebab seller, the truck road driver and mate, the Uber driver. You understand? The Nika Nika operator, the truck bar operator. Those are the people who will bring the real change to Ghana. And those are the people who need to be in the forefront of our struggles for liberation from poverty and all. You know, my friends, <clears throat> all kinds of prescriptions have been put forward for national economic revival, for the solution of the problems that confront us and so on. I want to repeat that those solutions have been proven to be useless and incapable of solving the problems that confront us. Why? What are the solutions? Devalue the city. We have devalued. As a matter of fact, between 1983 and now, the Ghanaian city has been devalued by more than 28,000%. It hasn't taken us anywhere. They say the state should not be interested in enterprises. More than 400 state enterprises have been sold. How many of them survive today? They are all dead. They say we should remove subsidies on social services. We have done it. We are still here. So those solutions don't work. The solutions put forward by the IMF and the World Bank only deepen our poverty and make us worse. So in this battle, we are not just fighting the current administration. We are fighting all those who aid them, who direct them, who supervise them. And that includes the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund. They are our enemies. They are our enemies. We cannot embrace them under any circumstance. Why? They serve definite interest. And in this struggle, it is our duty to reject bourgeois arrogance, bourgeoisie arrogance, bourgeois arrogance, the arrogance of the elite, those who think that what matters are the letters they write after their names, even some of them before their names. Bourgeoisie arrogance. Those who see no good in the carpenter. Those who believe that they are ordained to be masters forever. Their kingdom is coming to an end. And the earlier they realize that, the better it will be for them. Here we are, and I have no doubt that many of you here, the majority of you here, if not all of you, are clamoring for change. In the next few months, you want to see change, Ally? Yes. You want to see change? Yes. Does it matter whether you are Shanti or from the Volta region or from the Central? Does it matter? So when you hear your leaders going around mobilizing some of you to come and say that John Mahama must necessarily choose somebody from the Volta region as his running mate. Are you happy? When you hear your leader say that me, I'm the one who can mobilize Ashanti, so choose me as running mate. Are you happy? Are you happy with this stupidity? Are you happy
happy with this reasoning which is holding us back? Are you happy when the Bank of Ghana is indebted? Bank of Ghana has lost 60 billion and some of your leaders are behaving like this. Are you happy? Are you happy that we are in this mess and we are being divided along regional and tribal lines and so on? Let us all unite and do the do in order to take us forward. This, this demonstration which is being organized, no doubt, the police will go to court. This is not the first time they are going to court. They've always gone to court. Felix is laughing. He knows. They've always gone to court on any excuse. Sometimes it's about the roots and so on. So what do you do? So what do you do? What do you do? is to apply your gumption. Apply your gumption. What you do, what do you want to do? You want to show that our people in their masses are fed up. They know that things are not going well. Alive. Do you want to do something beyond that? You want to send a signal that the people are not fools, they know the truth and so on. Does it matter whether the police go to court or not? Do the do, man. Do the do. What is this? Look, every Ghanaian has a right to free expression. And no force on earth can stop that free expression. No force. It has never happened before and it's not about to happen now. Free expression will be defended with our everything, including our lives. Some of us did not spend all these years in prison to come out later in a so called Fourth Republic to be told that you cannot demonstrate. Anybody thinking that they can stop demonstrations in this country must be living in cuckoo's land because nobody ever will be able to stop demonstrations in this country. Dear friends, I have an engagement somewhere. <laughs> I think I've already spoken too much. And I apologize for that profusely. But I wish you well. And I know that ultimately, all of us will realize the dreams of those who led the independence struggle in Ghana. And what are the dreams? That we should own our own resources. Our resources should belong to us. Our gold, our diamond, our bauxite should belong to the people of Ghana. That's not asking too much. That these resources should be exploited for the benefit of our people. That's not asking too much. That in the final analysis, we are the only people who can choose our leaders. Not an electoral commission. Not an electoral commission. We will choose our own leaders. And I am sure, absolutely sure and happy that what we have started in Parliament under the leadership of the minority and what is continuing in this room today will be successful no matter the machinations of anybody. Thank you all very much. Arise, Ghana youth, for your country, your nation demands your devotion. Let us all unite to uphold and make her great and strong. We are all involved. We are all involved.